ladies and welcome to this now today we are back for another video on the channel now today we are doing another Fleetwood Town video now we are trying to do two streams two videos up to now till the end of the season one on Fleetwood one on League One now Today I got my thinking cap on and I thought with Joey Barton being manager of Bristol Rovers and his time at Fleetwood well and truly up a couple of months ago, we are going to look back at every permanent signing that Joey Barton did at the Cod Army over his tenure as Fleetwood Town boss. I'm going to give him a rank out of 10. How good were they? How bad were they? Let's get on with the video. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. We're closing in on 6,500 subscribers. Now, over his time, there was 19 players that he, he signed that really made an impact in the first team. There was a couple of others that he signed, like Macaulay, Southern Hales, Paul Jones, but they didn't really play in the first team that often. Oh, Macaulay, Southern Hales um, did register an appearance against Wickham a couple of seasons ago, but we're just going to rank those that have played you know, over a couple of games and give them a rank out of 10. Now, we're going to start off with Craig Morgan, one of Joey Barton's first signings. He was captain, but in my opinion, he was too slow at the time. He lost his legs and he cost us a lot of goals early on in that season. He did leave after a season with the football club. I'll give Craig Morgan a 4 out of 10. A legend for Wigan, not quite as good for town. The next one... <sighs> James Wallace. Now, James Wallace was an okay footballer. You know, he passed the ball well. He worked well. Didn't really make many appearances. Was only, a, you know, six to eight months, really. Now he's um, working at the club um, in a good role as well. Decent footballer. I'll give Wallace a five out of ten. I don't think he was that bad. Um, never really set the world alight, but still a decent player for town under Joey Barton. Next up, Chris Long. Now, Chris Long... We had him on loan under Uwe and we got him on loan from Burnley and he was alright for the first few games after that awful, a little bit of an attitude problem. Him and Joey clashed, he went to Blackpool. No, not great. I'm going to give Chris Long a 3 out of 10. Didn't really rate him and um, we had better strikers at the time, likes of Madden and Chet Evans and we've had you know Hunter in his first time around, David Ball. So we've had much better than... Um, Chris Long, unfortunately for him. Next up, Dean Marnie. Now, the Vizza lover boy. He did actually score against Coventry, but that was the only good thing he did. Got sent out off against Portsmouth. That cost us the game at 2 and up. Slow, poor, went AWOL for 18 months, left the football club. A solid 3 out of 10 for Dean Marnie and 3 out of 10 for Chris Long. Both of them not getting good ratings from me. Next up was Ross Wallace, and up to now, I thought this was Joey Barton's best signing, Ross Wallace. I thought Ross Wallace was a little bit past, but he showed glimpses of his quality, like his um, little flick uh, against Sunderland that, you know, won us the corner for the goal. Um, his goal against Blackpool was pretty good, and he was quite versatile. So I'll give Ross Wallace a 6 out of 10. He still had a little bit of quality in the locker. Ryan Taylor next, again. He came, you know, Newcastle. He came with high regards. Not very good. Three out of ten. Didn't really rate him, unfortunately. I thought he lost a little bit. He played a couple of games, but again, didn't really set the world alight. Three out of ten for Ryan Taylor. Next up, Harvey Saunders. Now, Saunders is the only one up to now still at the football club as a player. Again, he's still not hit the heights of... You know, his potential, but he's getting better and better. He's still young. He's still got a lot to learn. He's still got to improve. I'm going to give Saunders a 6 out of 10 because it's a young, hungry signing. He can still get better. He's shown glimpses of his quality already. Harvey Saunders, 6 out of 10. He's currently top with Ross Wallace, right? Now, they were all Joey Barton signings in his first year. Now, we're going to go into the second season now. And Danny Andrew was that first signing. And I'm going to give Danny Andrew an 8 out of 10. The reason being... Danny Andrew is an always consistent player. He gives you an option from the left from the left hand side. He's got a decent delivery on him. He's got a decent shot. He scored a couple of goals for us against Peterborough, against Doncaster, against Wigan, and they're all been stunners really. And he just adds something. He's very consistent. He's good defensively. He pretty much plays every week. He didn't really miss a game last year or this year unless he'd been out ill or injured. Brilliant player, good attitude, 8 out of 10 for Danny Andrew. Next up, Josh Morris. First year, 
scored a lot of goals. Not the best of players, but scored a lot of goals, and that's all you can ask your footballers to do. I'll give Morris a 6 out of 10. It would have been a 7, but he's dipped off this year. Morris, 6 out of 10. Coot, another one that came with loads of high expectation, and he delivered a good pass of the ball. Very low risk, but... He'd keep you ticking in midfield and you've noticed how we've missed him in recent games, how he's gone to Salford. I'll give Coots a 7 out of 10. He was a very good signing that first year in League One, especially when uh, Glenn Whedon arrived. We'll come on to him in a minute, but Coots a 7 out of 10. Louis Coyle, again, he signed on loan and then signed permanently in the January. As a permanent player, he was only here six months, but we're going to rank him on his tenure at Fleetwood because he eventually signed permanently. I'll give Coyle a 7 out of 10. Good right back, good solid player, gave us an outlet, played in numerous different positions, got sent off in the playoffs, that does take him down the mark, I'll be honest with you. I thought it was always going to be hard to live up to Conor McLaughlin's expectation, but he did alright, he got better as the seasons went on. Louis Coyle, 7 out of 10. Next up guys, Chad Evans. Now he originally signed on low, did very well, signed permanently on a, a free transfer, a very, very good signing, he scored a lot of goals, he held the ball up well, he helped Paddy Madden out, and you've not noticed until he's gone how well he actually did, scored a lot of goals, five goals this season, I always liked him, Preston have got a superb player, I'm going to give Chad Evans an 8 out of 10, I really think that we missed Chad Evans at Fleetwood. Peter Clark again, signed on a deal in Joey Barton's second season, it was only here six months, only played a few games but scored a goal against Oxford that turned out to be a winner that got us into the playoffs really, you could say one of those goals, um, a decent player, very stable, can still do a job at his age, now um, he went to Tramia, closer to home, I'll give Peter Clark a 6 out of 10, a very solid rating. Next up is Glenn Whelan. Now, he signed in the January of last year and he did really well for the first six months, really made an impact. Didn't lose a game in League One last year, barring the playoffs. So, again, he really came in and helped with that unbeaten run. And I'm going to give Whelan a 7 out of 10. He's not been as great, good this year, but he's not had as many minutes and he is 37 years of age. Still a very good player. He's out injured at the moment. Glenn Whelan, 7 out of 10. Now, going on to the permanent summer players, Callum Camps, he started ever so well, eight goals in the first, you know, two months of the season, hasn't scored for 15 to 16 games now, but he still puts in a shift and he's still got abundance of talent. I'm going to give Camps an eight out of ten for that start alone, for the way he is, he gives us an option, he works hard, Callum Camps, eight out of ten. Rotita, he signed on loan in Joy Bottom's second season and now in this third season, Barton did sign him permanently on a free transfer. I'm going to give Rotter an 8 out of 10. He was superb on low until he got injured. And he's been good this season. I felt like he's got better and better as the games have gone on. And he's a terrific lad, a terrific fighter. He's a warrior and someone that you need in your midfield. Joel Coleman. Now, he's only literally played a couple of friendlies for us and won EFL League game. And then he got injured. I think he pulled his hamstring against Wigan. And he's been their second choice ever since. Um, although I like him as a goalkeeper, he's not done much yet, you can't really rate. So I'll give him a 5 out of 10. He's a goal, good goalkeeper, what I've seen of him. He just needs game time. But when, in my opinion, you've got one of the best goalkeepers in League One, you're going to find it hard to get into uh, the 11 for Fleetwood. Next up, Mark Duffy. Now, Duffy this year has been in and out of the team. He's hardly started, but... When he has played Duffy, he's made a difference. He's a good pass of the ball. He, he, he makes everything tick. He drops the shoulder well. He, he drives you forward. He got a nice assist on Saturday against Charlton, which was delightful. He scored against Everton. So he's got a decent record as well. I'm going to give Duffy a 7 out of 10. I like him. I think he's a good footballer. Very talented. The Sheffield United fans absolutely love him. Sam Stubbs. Again, only a few a few games he played against Hull, scored, absolutely believe was delighted. And then got injured against Lincoln, Mulgrew comes in, doesn't really play for us ever again after that. And then goes to Exeter. So on that basis, I'll give him a 4 out of 10. I was going to give him a 3, but that goal against Hull will lift him up a mark. And uh, never really got into the team after signing in the summer. So it wasn't really a successful signing, unfortunately. Jason Lutbiler is next, and he was signed as one of Joey Barton's Second choice goalkeepers after Coleman got injured and Cairns became number one. 
Again, he dropped Cairns. I, I, that was one of the things I disagreed with Joey on, I'll be honest with you. And look why we came number one. He was all right in some games, but I felt he conceded a lot of soft goals, if I'm honest with you, that Cairns probably would have saved. But he was all right. He saved a, a, a penalty. He kept a few clean sheets, made a few good saves. I'll give Luck Byler a 6 out of 10, a, a decent stop shopper. And finally, Sam Finley was Joey Barton's last signing as Fleetwood manager. And he did well. He scored a goal against Plymouth, scored an ice screamer against MK Dons under Simon Wiles, one of his first games in charge. And um, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. He looks very good. We've not seen a full package yet, and he's getting better and better every game. So there are my rankings, the 19 different players that play under Joey Barton in the league that he signed permanently. We did sign 13 on loan. So if you fancy that video, let's hit 60 likes on this one and I'll bring that to you very, very soon. Remember guys, if you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time guys, I will see you later up the cards.